Let's blow out. What? Let's blow out. So today is the final day of prep before tomorrow's concrete pour. We got some bracing to do to make sure we have no blowouts, so it's not going to be a tough day. It's going to be probably a long, tedious day. Not really a big deal. Cut these at angles. I'm gonna cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll put a few down at the bottom so that doesn't blow out. And hopefully it all works. What do you think? I hope so. Put our scrap boards to good use. Do you know that? Yeah, but you, we could put some tape there and put this there. You want to tape it up on the house? Yes. <laughs> okay. So it could be a big picture. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. State's going down. I don't anticipate any blowouts. That one's a little, it's not really questionable. I, I, I sure the hell out of it, it's good. My main issue is that that plywood's old. It's a little flimsier than the newer plywood. It's both, all three corpses have been sitting there like this out in the weather for, for what, six months? Mm -hmm. So I got bracing every, what, eight inches going vertical all the way down. So it should be fine. That's one thing kind of, what's what it is. I'm gonna go plywood, so. Well, we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> You realize all it takes is one core swing. Ugh, like that? <laughs> and you're gonna break my forearm. I don't like this job. <laughs> you don't like this job. You wanna, you wanna swing the hammer? <laughs> I, don't, I don't trust myself to swing the hammer. I'm gonna be right there. <laughs> That's why I swing the hammer. <laughs> so when we started this project, we knew we we're gonna have a small issue and uh, it's called clearance. So the roof overhang and we have the form and the beam right here, we got about four inches. So the concrete truck can't pull up to it, obviously. We don't wanna use a shovel. Um, we could have got a pump truck and we spent all that money, but didn't want to do that either. So we actually have a tractor and we have uh, a piece of plywood, <laughs> <laughs> some plywood to build a chute. So my plan is to build a chute and have it come over here, have a, have a stop on it, have a stop to here and uh, we rake it on in. Hopefully it works. We're going to test it tonight. Like, we do have a few bags of sacrete we can use before the concrete guy gets here tomorrow morning. Yeah, so we'll have a good idea of, of if it'll work or not a little bit before it's actual go time well if it does if it doesn't work it's gonna be disastrous yeah we'll, we'll, we'll call it up tomorrow morning it's not a big deal we have time but then uh we'll be doing bags and do it I by mean hand if, i mean if what if the concrete truck shows up in in the chute like just snaps in the middle of the whole thing oh i'm building or out what if, two by fours and plywood it's so gonna be you fine think it'll be yeah. Strong enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah what if it just spills out everywhere i'm gonna have, I'm gonna have sides on it okay you know what I mean? I'm nervous. I'm not. I am. I can make it happen. <laughs> I know you can. I'm, I'm very confident. Okay. My, my biggest issue is getting concrete splattered where we've got to cover this entire thing with plastic. So. Right. That's no big deal. I got that handled. You just handle the shoot, okay? Yep. You're good at taping. Yes. So the chute, it's going to be seven feet wide up top for the bucket to come and dump in, and the bottom of the chute is going to be four feet for so it can fit it between the columns.
that's it. It looks good. Let's see if it holds. I think it'll hold. So do I. So we gotta get legs on here, put them up vertical. Um, we'll screw them in like that and like this, hold them in place. Two screws, two screws on both sides. And as we go down, as we move down, we cut the <laughs> legs shorter. It's gonna be an interesting day. So let's put it up real quick against that one, the first one. Yes. Let's hold it up in the air. Um, and we'll measure for legs. Okay. Be close. All we're gonna do is this, cut those pieces, put it back up there, put it up, hold it in place, we'll put a couple screws in there. Not a big Two deal. Two legs? Two legs, that's it. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work too. <clears throat> yeah. Do you think it's gonna work? Let us know. <laughs> place your bets now. What? Get behind it. Thanks. I don't know. <laughs> Let me screw these legs in. I might need to get something to come down from, from here to here and then from here to there. And screw them all in to get some cross brace on there so it doesn't twist because it could twist. That thing just, all that weight will just pop out. But right. if I bring something from here down to there, it won't go this way or that way. And same thing to hold it in place. Okay. That's what I think. All right. Well, the good news, that was a success. Um, it's not too dry though, it needs more water. So when he gets here, we have to put more water in and uh, it should flow down a lot easier. Um, worked out. So let's pull this off, let's clean it off tonight so it's nice and smooth for tomorrow. Let's clean the bucket out real quick, all right? on the outside we actually drove stakes in in front of the uh, forms that went down to the ground so it wouldn't blow at the bottom and come out um, when we poured the concrete we actually poured the footer to the face on the opposite side um, of the pier footing so that's where the form started at and we drove stakes down to the soil and to hold it in place uh, this, the concrete footer comes a little further out this way so the bottom of these forms are actually tapcon to the concrete below, so we're not gonna be driving stakes down. There's no reason to deal with the tapcons. They'll hold it in place fine.
Chuck says it's dinner time, Josh. <laughs> We're coming, Chuck. This video is brought to you by Skillshare, an online learning community for creators. I've taken classes such as film, photography, cooking, productivity, design, and more. There's something for everyone with new premium content always being launched. And since it's curated specifically for learning, you're not interrupted by ads. So you can just stay focused on the learning goals you want to achieve. I recently dove into a class called The Art of the Start, Turning Ideas into High Growth Businesses with Guy Kawasaki, where he helps you organize your thoughts and turn them into a business from the start all the way to launching and after. This is what a class looks like where highly experienced, authentic, and honest people deliver solid information. They don't deliver it as a lecture or a job, but truly to empower you. Accomplishing growth is so satisfying and Skillshare's classes make that possible. The first thousand subscribers to click the link in the description box below will get a free trial of the premium membership. Now let's get back to the build. So it's concrete day. Um, concrete truck's coming. We'll be here in about a half hour. We got plastic put up and it's very windy. But there's no rain. Josh is always right when it comes to weather. I go, I go against what the weatherman says, and I'm usually right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> up and seeing our makeshift shoot. I don't know. He's gonna be like, oh, <laughs> take, it's gonna take forever on this tractor. He's a West Virginia, so he gets it. You know what I mean? Once you get past the first three big ones, the rest of them are a lot smaller, so we should roll. You know what yeah. I mean? So, I'm a little nervous now. Are you? It should hold up. Yeah. We'll see. the last little bit out of the bucket of the tractor and the skid steer that we rented for other projects just so happened to show up so Josh is getting that thing all loaded up and we're now going to be using that to pour the concrete he says it's gonna be a lot faster Bucket's more narrow, which is better. I get closer up there. Yeah. All right, push it down. Go ahead. Show you my world. Good. I was cold about ten minutes ago. I <laughs> know. Right there. Is it gonna hold? No. Oh. Yeah. I heard it crack and pop. Do out a little bit. Do you think it's gonna hold? Oh yeah. 
don't know if you guys can see that. It is, it's all the way up there. This is the only one right here that's built a little bit different than all the other ones. So I think you mentioned before that's the only one that you were a little bit like. Iffy about. It's got the older plywood too, right? Yeah, I built it differently too. <laughs> Moving. The wall is? The wall's moving. Oh, the blowout. The blowout. Where's the gather at? Right here. And I can see the concrete coming out. It's right there. It's coming out at the bottom. Sorry. Are we going to leave it alone? Huh? Are we going to leave it alone? For now. Let's, go, let's uh, shovel this stuff back off. Let's move this chute down to here real quick. Let that set up a little bit. And then we'll come back and hit it. He's good. We gotta probably pull a little bit of concrete off this chute real quick back in the bucket, move the chute over there, cut the legs down a little bit and keep on going. Okay. We're gonna start rolling now. Yeah. We're come back and test this guy. Yeah. Um, once he cures, it's gonna get a hammer drill time. He's got chip and flat. Great. He's, bu he's bubbling out a little bit yeah. and he ain't putting stone on it. Okay. So, no big deal. Since we moved the chute down to the next one, it's actually tipped at more of an angle. So the concrete is really just flowing in now with minimal effort on our parts, which is really nice. We only have a few left to go. So we had a minor mishap on Small our one. tallest wall or yeah. form, but it wasn't bad and overall no. the day went really well. It went very well. Um, it, it bulged out a little bit at the bottom, it's not a big deal, I'm used to bulges. <laughs> 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 so, um, it's the, I guess the, probably the way we built it with the, with the vertical um, bracing, the, I did the one side that way, but everything else, else we did horizontal, so it all held up better that way. We'll, we're going to stick with that route from here on out. Yes, for, for the rest of the form. So, the plan is that all of this needs to cure. That's actually going to take like a week. So we're gonna leave those forms on there for an entire week before we rip them down. Yep. And then those are going to get put up on the other side of the house. Yes. And do you wanna talk about what we're doing with the small gap between the concrete and the... Yeah, so we didn't pour concrete up to the bottom of the uh, eight by eight um, pressure-treated lumber. We actually left a little gap and we're gonna go ahead and uh, use a non-shrink grout and push it in there and uh, we'll set up and uh, be perfect. Yes. That's and, all. And then once everything's poured, we can attach all the stone. Yes. But the great thing about this is that this has been a really like a dreaded project. It has. I feel it like has. the whole underside of the house and everything, but it's having no this whole first side poured, it like I think it's given us a new motivation. It, yes. Like we can see the light at the end of the tunnel now on this dreaded project. Yeah, so it's almost done. Yes. And it went easy too. It flew by, yeah. so all the um, forms are done this side, so we're gonna take them off and reuse them on that side. Hopefully they work, they should be close enough. Yeah. So we should roll.
Josh spent the rest of the day using the skid steer to get everything to grade around the house. With the interior of our home completely finished, we are now fully focused on finishing the exterior. A deck, grassy yard, and wood-fired hot tub are now all within reach.